Hello Ratbags, welcome to the JPG Preview. Today we're taking a look at Conan Exiles, a brand new trailer has dropped for the Frozen North, the new expansion coming to PC on the 16th of August. Not only that, it's obviously coming to the Xbox One as it's launching finally on Early Access on the same day. So I'm going to show you the trailer with the lead creator Joe Bylos talking over the plans for the actual expansion, what it includes and some of their plans going forward and then we'll get my opinion on how the game has progressed so far and what I expect from it in the future. I do believe Conan Exiles is going to be hugely popular, it has had some issues recently and it hasn't maybe hit the market wanted to but it certainly has got great potential and I think releasing on console is going to be the thing that drives it forward more. There's no doubt that Funcom have something on their hands that could be really special. It has some really unique properties and some heavily borrowed properties from lots of survival fantasy games out there. But I think Conan Exiles really does have something in it that makes it stand apart from what else is going on. Particularly on console where there isn't a lot of competition for this type of game, I really do believe Conan Exiles could be the premier number one game for playing survival online next year on Xbox One and hopefully PS4 when it launches in 2018. So far the story of Conan Exiles has been one of sand and blood and sweat, but now Funcom would like to invite you to join us as we venture into the frozen north. The new biome is a significant increase to the landmass of Conan Exiles, giving people completely new environments to explore with different types of weather conditions to deal with. With the change in environment, there's a change in the resources available for you, the player. That means new types of plants, new types of stone and metal, new types of animals to hunt, and new types of enemies to destroy. You'll encounter exciting new factions. The heirs of the North are made up of Nordheimers, people who drink all night and fight all day. In the gloomier parts, there is the forgotten clan who live among the mounds of the dead, the remnants of an ancient battlefield. Every night, the Whites rise from the ground and attack the Forgotten Clan. Finally, among the frozen slopes of the mountains, you will find the Frost Giants. Together, they have created a great edifice to their god, the Temple of Frost. In addition to the Temple of Frost, there's another multi-level dungeon known simply as the Black Keep. In the halls of the Black Keep, you will encounter traps, tricks, treasures, and finally, Tyros, the Deathbringer. Included in this update is the new temperature system, which allows your character to feel the punishment of both freezing cold and extreme heat. You might want to wear light, loose clothing when you're in the desert, and you might want to wear heavy fur-lined armor when you're in the cold, frozen north. There are over 300 new items in this area for you to loot, craft, and trade. Of course, it isn't just about clothing. The new crafting machines allow capabilities in Conan Exiles that were not previously available. Things like placing fish traps into a water source and waiting until it fills with fish that you can then press for oil. Placing beehives in the world, populating them with honey and then using them to brew alcohol. And then as you drink that alcohol, it will protect you against certain status effects. But on the negative side, it will of course make you thirstier and give you a hangover, which makes you feel pretty bad. If you want to build in the snowy slopes of the north, you're going to need something that will insulate you against the cold. With the new update, we've introduced two new tiers of building, insulated wood and black ice reinforced stone. These new types of buildings are equivalent to tier three and tier two building tiers from the desert, except that they insulate you against the cold and the ice. We've updated the character creation with this update. Finally, you'll be able to choose the beard that adorns the face of your favorite barbarian and different colorings for those facial hairs. In addition to that, there's a new god to choose, Ymir, the Frost Father. So that's where Conan Exiles is heading in only less than two weeks time. I can't wait to get this on console. I've played it quite a bit on PC. I've done quite a few series in terms of piece, uh, PvP and actual single player and I've done a few tutorials and I've tried keeping up with the news. What I find is it can just be a little bit 
lifeless. In terms of your plan PvE or single player, there's often not enough reason to go back to some of the dungeons that are already in the game, which is quite limited, or take on some of the other bosses. There doesn't seem to be enough reward other than just gaining or grinding tiny amounts of XP. I think that's one something they could borrow heavily from Ark. In Ark, when you go and take on one of the caves, not only will you get the often the chance to get high level loot, you'll also be able to pick up one of the artifacts that you'll need to summon the bosses, or you'll actually just get a load of XP from the sheer amount of enemies that are around all the caves. And I think Conan needs to build itself up with more enemies, more different types of enemies. I'm really pleased to see that the Frozen North has got a more varied choice in creatures. It'll have to remain to be seen though how sparsely they're populated and how spread they are. Is it going to be a case of only three or four just chucked in? Are we going to have more of the creatures from the desert somehow integrated into the north? They're the questions I'll be looking to answer when it launches. No doubt that one of Conan Exile's main strengths is its ability for customization. There is a huge amount of choice in weapons and armor and items for your bases, and the way that you can build is substantially more involved than you will find in Ark Survival Evolved. For very good reason, in terms of the raiding aspect that comes from it, it's very much more player orientated. That is probably the negative that people find with Conan, it doesn't have the tame system. Too many people want that same similar system from Ark Survival Evolved and you can see the reception Darker Knight has received because of the way it can tame creatures and even Citadels you'll be able to tame creatures. That is something they're implementing but it's not going to be widespread, it's not going to be as robust. These creatures are simply going to be used for, for tasks or to actually pull or load carriages and things like that. Typical things like horses and camels. As yet they've not really announced anything to do with taming monsters or anything more advanced than just common garden sort of creatures you'd find in the desert or maybe in the winter scene. It would be really cool if you could tame some wolves or if you know you could try and get a frost giant maybe as a one time thing. I doubt that's where they want to go. I think they really want it to be a player focused game and I think it can stand on its own with that, particularly with all the siege engine items it has in the game. That has definitely been one of its main focuses. Building these huge giant siege weapons and having the ability to go and take on other people, other clans with these huge siege machines is really important to Conan Exiles and I can see them doing even more work on that and I hope they do. I think that again is one of the ways it's going to differentiate between itself and other survival games. There is a huge choice in how you actually infiltrate bases. You can do it the siege way or you can do it the gods and that again is the extra big unique factor. Now, the gods have taken some criticism, either for being buggy or maybe not working so well, but remember, the game has only been in early access for seven months. It's still going to take a considerable amount of time before the game is well polished and actually functioning the way the developers want it to. There is no denying Conan Exiles dropped off the face of the planet. After the initial two or three weeks, every big tuba or streamer under the sun basically dropped it from its program. You'll be lucky to find a couple of the big hitters with over 100,000 subs still maybe covering it. I like the game, that's why I've carried on doing updates, but I can't say it's drawn me to play it every single week. There's been too many other games that have took precedent, or it just hasn't simply managed to capture my imagination as much as I hoped it would. Maybe that's down to the way that I've played it on PC and I've played it quite a single player experience. I do think this is one of them games that absolutely has to be enjoyed by playing it on a multiplayer setting. I think that's where its strength lies and I think that's where they need to carry on the focus. They are adding a bunch of single player issues, or not issues, but things that they can work on um, that will help the game evolve if you want to play it just offline or on your own. But I still think the multiplayer aspect is where they should really keep on focusing their energies. More ways to raid, more ways to, you know, use systems. I think they should go heavy on the gods. The gods might not be popular with some people, but I think it's a really unique idea. And I'd love to see even more interactions that the gods can do, more ways that you can call the gods. The idea is that even if you're not a big tribe, you could have a chance of calling maybe one of these gods, and that is probably the best aspect of this game compared to some other games like Rust or Ark Survival Evolved. You can't really get too far in the game on a PvP environment unless you're in a big tribe, but this game is meant to be a little bit different. You are meant to be able to call these gods if you build up slowly. 
The last real criticism it faces is its combat mechanics. People saying it's too derpy, it doesn't have enough in it. Again, I think it's really harsh. I think a lot of people are comparing it to other games like Skyrim and its ability to change and chop between doing, you know, a mage and archer, a, a, you know, a sword and sorcery type dude. The game's limited at the moment. I don't think they're going to be implementing any type of Dark Souls, and Joel Bylas, the creator, has said that it's not going to be that type of content that they'll be putting into the game. But I still think they can maybe improve it a little bit more. Even if it's just the hitboxes, even if it's making more of the realistic uh, dismemberments, there's lots of ways that I think the combat could be improved, and hopefully they will see them improvements. But I still think people are overly harsh on the game in terms of criticising its combat. It's about the same level as Ark Survival Evolved, you know, in terms of moves and what you can do. It even has strength attacks now in Conan Exiles. So there are lots of things and ways they're trying, and the ability to have so many choices in different weapons and hopefully in the future their necromancer class or their sorcery class and the way that you can almost go to the dark side by taking on the sort of you know, necromancy stuff I think that's going to be important and I'd like to see them work on that even more and spread that idea out and really go for it that if you do certain things in the world it will change your character for permanent you know ways or for a considerable amount of time until you can actually fix it of course you might not want to fix it, you may want to be a Dark Mage character and that's what I like too. So I'm all guns ahead for Conan Exiles, you're going to see a lot of content from me in the next few weeks. I'll be going to show you previews of what to expect with the bosses, the armour, the building tier types. Expect a lot of content coming your way. Any more information about Conan Exiles, I'll be up to date and giving you guys the info you need. And let's look forward to hopefully it making a real impact on Xbox One with the brand new expansion when it launches on August the 16th. I'm Jay Plays Games. I'll be back for another Jade Previews Games very soon. 